sing hallelujah to the king praise the lord for the lord is good sing praises unto his name for it is pleasant hallelujah forever we exalt thee forever eternally hallelujah we sing hallelujah to our king
Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah. We praise you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. We exalt your holy name because you are worthy. In Psalms 107 and 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. It says, His mercy endures forever. And with this hymn, we'll collect the offerings and the tithes this morning. The altar is open in this house. Hallelujah. If you need for us to come together as one in prayer, just come forward. And we will come together in one mindset and in one spirit. And we let God. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days have been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head who oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. In all my life you have been faithful. In all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I
against God. We're independent from God. We're disconnected from Him. But His goodness is pursuing you. He's chasing you down that His goodness would overcome you, Father. Thank you for your faithfulness, Father. Do I have a witness this morning of the goodness of God that He didn't pay me the way I deserve for all my sins and my transgressions? 
For he said, there is no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. For those who believe in Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. There is no condemnation, Father. Thank you, Father, for I deserve the worst. And I admit my transgressions before you, Lord. Hallelujah. In all my life, I was an enemy of yours, Father. And I mock your people, your, your kingdom, Father. And I deserve the worst, Father. But you revealed yourself to me. You pursued me. You, your love pursued me, Father. And you could have destroyed me in your wrath, but you showed me your goodness, Father. You, you forgave me, Father. And from that point on, you've been so good to me, Father. I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve life. I don't deserve forgiveness. I don't deserve anything, Father. I am standing here only by your grace. That's all I know, Father. And for that, I will sing of your goodness. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. His goodness is running after, is running after. He's running after you. You can't hide from it. You can't run hard enough. His love will pursue you. His love and his goodness will pursue you. Hallelujah. He's touching your heart now just to let you know, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in control. I'm pursuing your heart, Father. Jesus, bless your children this morning, Father, as we sing about your redemption, your salvation, your goodness, your rest, and your mercy, Father. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We recognize you, Lord. Hallelujah. We surrender unto you, Father, for your goodness has reached our lives, Father, our households, our marriages, our business, our relationships, Father. Hallelujah. Our decisions, Father. The kingdom of God has manifested in our midst, Father. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father. We are forever thankful, Father, to you, the loving God that loves us with an eternal God love, Father. You can never do anything to make God love you more. He loves you with an eternal love, he says. He will never give up. He will chase you down. He will pursue you until you recognize him for who he is. He wants to make you a son and daughter of his. That's all. That you would have forgiveness of sin. That you would have eternal life. That death would have no power over your life because he has conquered sin. That's, it. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. He said he loved you. And he proved it by dying for you on the cross. Was it just hot air? He demonstrated his passion for you. And passion is love and action. It's not about saying it. It's about doing it. Amen? And the passion of Christ demonstrates the power of that love that he has for you and me. That none of us should perish but have everlasting love. Thank you, Father. We thank you for Amnetis who is here, Father, who, who had this procedure done on her wrist. Father, we thank you. We've been praying for her. We thank you for a full recovery, Father, in her wrist and her hands. No complications, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for, for life where we are here only because of you. And we thank you for that, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, we have with us, we have Gloria Nasario from Cabo Roja. Gloria, where are you? Oh, hey, Gilbert's mom. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We've been praying for you and your family. Amen. Hemos estado orando.
por ti y por tu familia en este momento de duelo, ¿verdad? Amen. Dios te bendiga. Amen. Uh, we also have uh, with us uh, Phoenix Hannah. Uh, Phoenix Hannah from Oregon. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It, behind you is, it, is a fellow guy from, from Oregon. Yeah. And, and, and David here, this guy with the, with the, with the long hair. He's from Oregon, too. He's leaving this week. He's a, so there you go. Wow. We got, we got a representation of demographics of Oregon here. So welcome. Welcome to the house of the Lord. God is good. Amen. Amen. Woo. Somebody had breakfast today. You're on, on cue, huh? Uh, as I was preaching to you last week about the, the significance of the eclipse, well, wow, isn't that amazing that already... We are hearing of wars and rumors of wars. Amen. It's amazing uh, uh, what's happening. I told you from, from the eclipse on, all we're going to hear is wars, wars and rumors of war. And Iran attacked Israel last night and to no avail because the hand of God is over Israel. All the enemies of Israel will come against her like never before. There's going to be two wars still that have to occur, right? The war uh, of Ezekiel 38 and the war of Armageddon still. And the, it talks about how all the, and all the nations of the world are going to come against Israel. So we're, we're already just starting to see this alignment. So don't, don't freak out. Just, just pray. Pray for the protection of Israel. That's all. Because nobody's going to destroy her. The, the, prophetically speaking, the Bible says that after she became a nation, after he... The Lord bring all the Jews from around the nations, which is a prophecy that was there for thousands of years. They would never stop to exist once he puts them back in their nation, okay? So all you're going to see right now from here to the coming of the Lord, which is very near, is wars, wars, and rumors of war. So just be advised, right? Okay, I think uh, after Pastor Francisco does a series of, of messages, I'll, I'll probably speak to you about the, the four horsemen of apocalypse so that you understand where we are in, prophetic, in the prophetic clock of God. Uh, we're, we're closer than what you believe, that's for sure. So anyway, he, he says, when you see these things, don't, get, don't freak out. Know that his coming is soon. Amen? So we rejoice in seeing the, the protection of Israel in spite of its enemies, and it's going to get worse. You're going, to, you're going to see the United Nations that's already against them. You're going to see the coalition of Arab nations come against them. And, and you're going to see Western Europe come against them and Russia. It's just going to, all the enemies of Israel are going to add, are going to be added. But don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> this has to happen, right? Because in, in, in the last war of all of them, which is Armageddon, that is the cue. For Jesus returned to earth, right? So he is going to deliver Israel from all the nations of the world that have surrounded him in the valley of Armageddon, okay? So don't, don't freak out. Jesus says, when you see these things, just look up. You look up, say, Lord, you're coming soon, right? So it's a great time to be alive. It's, we're seeing the fulfillment of the word of God in every area. So just... Uh, just so don't, don't be afraid. Just pray for the protection of, of Israel. Remember, Israel is the apple of God's eye. You, you have to be really naive to poke God in the eye and think you're going to get away with it, right? <laughs> and that's what these nations are doing, right? And he'll give them time, and then he'll stand up from his throne and, and do due diligence, right? So... Uh, don't, don't be afraid, right? Uh, a lot of things are going to enter in, in acceleration as I spoke to you after this eclipse. So there's an acceleration, and you're going to see things that you're going to say, this can't be. This can't really be happening around the world. This can't be happening in America. Of course it can. <laughs> it's, 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 it is written. It is written. Amen? So uh, having said that, uh, I'm going to give you a break from me my preaching, and I asked Pastor Francisco to preach for us today and next Sunday, so let's give him a hand and see what the Lord 
I'll be translating for him, and uh, as the Lord would help me. Amen. Woo. Amen. Buenos días. Dios les bendiga. Good morning. God bless you this morning. Antes de empezar, quiero quiero orar. Before I start, I want to I want to pray. Padre, te doy gracias, Señor, por porque nos has traído a esta tu casa. Father, I thank you because you have brought us to this your house. Te pido, Señor, que tú ministres a través de tu palabra a nuestras vidas y a nuestros corazones, mi Rey. I pray that you minister to us through your word and to our hearts. Que sea tu Espíritu Santo hablando a través de mí, Señor. That it be your Holy Spirit speaking through me. Sé tu Señor usándome con una vasija, Padre. Let it be you using me as a, a human vessel, Lord. Y usar Pastor David, Señor, para la traducción, Padre. And use Pastor David for the translation, Father. Te pido, Señor, que me des las fuerzas para... Poder compartir esto que tú has puesto en mi corazón hacer. I pray that you give me the, the, the strength to share this that you have placed in my heart. Que esto llegue al corazón de tu pueblo, Padre. Let it, let it be received in the hearts of your people. Yo te lo pido en el nombre de Jesús. Mi I ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Quiero que, que busques Primera de Reyes. Vamos a estar en Primera de Reyes, capítulo 18. We're going to be in First Kings. Chapter 18, El versículo del 41 en adelante. from verse 41 and after. Eh, esto no es lo que estuve preparando en esta semana. This is not the, the word that I had been preparing for the week. Eh, lo estoy haciendo porque eh, esta mañana mientras llegué a orar a las seis de la mañana aquí, And this morning, as I, I came to prayer early this morning at 6, eh, el Señor me inquietó a compartir esto con ustedes. The Lord uh, laid it heavy on my heart to change that message and share this instead with you. Simplemente quiero ser obediente a lo que el Señor puso en mi corazón a hacer. And I simply want to be obedient to that what the Lord has asked me to do. Eh, por eso le pido al Espíritu Santo que me, que me ayude. That's why I'm asking the Holy Spirit to help me. Eh, ustedes recuerdan hace tres semanas a, atrás cuando compartí con ustedes el mensaje de restaurando el altar. Remember when I shared with you about three, four weeks ago uh, the message on restoring your, your altar of sacrifice. Eh, les traje eh, el, el ejemplo de lo que Elías hizo en el Monte Carmelo junto a, a, los, a los profetas de Baal. And uh, in that occasion I shared with you The demonstration of God's power that Elijah demonstrated on Mount Carmel against the prophets of Baal. Eh, pudimos ver allí eh, esta esta interacción que hubo entre Elías y, lo, y los profetas de Baal. And we were able to see uh, uh, this event between the, the prophets of Baal and, and Elijah, the prophet of God. Hubo un reto que eh, el profeta Elías le lanzó a, a los profetas de Baal. And there was a challenge that the prophet Elijah uh, uh, challenged the, the prophets of Baal with. Tanto los profetas de Baal como Elías, ambos prepararon un altar. And both of these prophets from Baal and from God, they both prepared two altars. Y ambos clamaron a sus dioses. And both of them called out to their gods. Los profetas de Baal no recibieron respuesta. The prophets of Baal never got a response. Pero al Dios en que le sirvió Elías, sí respondió. But the God that Elijah served, this one responded. Y ahí estamos. And that's where we find ourselves. ¿Qué ocurrió luego de ese suceso? What, what occurred after this event? El pueblo de Dios, el, el pueblo de Israel se tornó nuevamente a Dios. The people of Israel turned back to God. Y dice al final de, de ese suceso que Elías llamó al pueblo a, a agarrar a los profetas de Baal y los llevó a, a este lugar llamado Arroyo de Sison. Y allí los de Goyo. And after this event, uh, the, the prophet Elijah uh, took the, the, the prophets of Baal and took them to the, to the riverine of, of Siphon, and there he decapitated them. 
los decapitó. Algo fuerte, ¿verdad? That's, that's a strong thing. Entonces, luego que ocurrió eso, and after this, this occurred, dice el capítulo, el, el versículo 41, then it says in verse 41, dice, entonces Elías dijo a Cap, que es ese rey, dijo, sube, come y bebe, porque una lluvia grande se oye. And Elijah said unto Ahab, who is the king, get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Y quiero detenerme ahí porque justamente esto fue lo que ocurrió esta mañana mientras oraba aquí. And I want to stop and pause right there because this is exactly what happened while I was here praying this morning. Mientras estaba orando, creo que había pasado como una hora. While, while I was praying after about an hour, yo empiezo a escuchar un ruido de lluvia. I start hearing the sound of rain. Pero yo miro hacia la puerta. I look out the door. Y veo que estaba todo soleado, no estaba lloviendo. I saw the sun and I saw that it was not raining. Y mientras sigo orando, sigo escuchando el ruido de la lluvia. And while I'm praying, I still hear uh, the sound of falling rain. Y el Señor me estaba diciendo ahí, el Espíritu me estaba diciendo, sigue orando porque una lluvia grande se acerca. And the Holy Spirit said, continue to pray because a great rainfall is about to fall. Me dijo, una lluvia grande se acerca. A great rainfall is about to come. Amen. ¿Qué estaba pasando aquí? What was happening here? ¿Por qué era tan importante ese suceso de la lluvia? Why was it so important, the, the event of, of, of rain? Porque hacía más de tres años because it had been already three years que Elías había declarado con su boca that Elijah had pro prophesied through his mouth que no iba a llover. that it would not rain for three years. Que la lluvia cesaría. That the rain would, would stop. O sea, que, que para ese tiempo, tres años y medio después, lo que había era una gran sequía. So, because of that word, after three and a half years, uh, all the, 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 the people of God were going through a drought. Una gran sequía. A great drought. Que afectó al pueblo de Dios. That affected the people of God. Sí. Y el Señor me decía, ora porque una gran lluvia viene. The Lord said to me, pray because surely there's a great rainfall coming. Porque ciertamente, individualmente y como iglesia ha habido una gran sequía. Because individually and collectively as a church, there has been a great spiritual drought. Sí. Nosotros hemos pasado por situaciones donde entramos en una sequía, en un desierto, espiritualmente hablando. There are epochs or time periods in our life where we go through a desert, a dry desert in our lives. We experience this. Y el Señor quiere enviar la lluvia. And the Lord, as a result of that, wants to send his rain. Porque una temporada de sequía a determinar. Because a season of dryness is about to cease. Una temporada de sequía va a terminar. A season of dryness is about to end. Y Dios le está diciendo a la iglesia que viene una gran lluvia. And the Lord is letting the church know that there's a great rainfall coming. Porque hay un mundo que necesita esa lluvia. Because there's a world out there that needs that, the refreshing of that rain. Sí. Hay un mundo allá afuera que necesita esa lluvia. There's a world out there that needs that rain. Porque espiritualmente están secos. Because spiritually they have a drought. In their y life. necesitan esa lluvia de Dios. And they need that rainfall of God. Y Dios le está diciendo a la iglesia, iglesia ora porque yo voy a enviar esa lluvia. And God is saying, church pray with intensity because I'm going to send that rainfall. Porque hay mucha gente que está sedienta. Because there's a lot of people out there that are thirsty. Y yo voy a saciar su sed. And I'm going to quench that thirst. Porque mientras yo estaba orando ahí, escuchaba esa lluvia. And while I was praying there, I was listening to the rain. Luego escuchaba el ruido de un gran río. Then I heard the, the sound of a great river. Por, porque cuando caen esos grandes aguaceros. Because when those great rainfalls come all of a sudden. Provoca que los ríos crezcan. 
It provokes that the, the rivers will overflow. Y se escucha un estruendo. And you hear the sound No sé quién ha tenido waters. la oportunidad de pararse frente a un río que está crecido. I don't know if you've ever had the experience of standing before a, a river that's been overwhelmed by water. Es algo impresionante. Waters. Se escucha un ruido. It's impressive. You hear the sound of many waters. Y Dios va a enviar esa lluvia. And God is going to send that rain. Porque hay muchos que lo necesitan. Because there are many that need it. Necesitan que esos ríos de agua viva corran dentro de ellos. They have a need that these uh, waters of living waters flow through their lives. Y no solamente voy a hablar de ellos. And not only am I going to speak sino about voy a hablar them, de nosotros. But I'm going to speak about ¿Cómo us. espiritualmente estamos nosotros? In what condition spiritually we find ourselves today. Hay sequía. Is there a drought in your, in your heart? Sí, pues yo te está diciendo, yo voy a enviar la lluvia. Well, the Lord wants you to know that I'm going to send the rainfall. Yo voy a enviar la lluvia, dijo el Señor. I'm going to send the rain. Sí? Yes. Así? ¿Qué leímos? ¿Qué dijo Elías? Le dijo al rey, sube, come y bebe, porque una lluvia se oye. And Elijah said to the king, go, drink and eat, because surely the sound of many waters is coming. Porque en los postreros tiempos, because in the end times, el Señor va a derramar de su Santo Espíritu. He will pour out his Holy Spirit sobre toda carne. Over all flesh. Y el conocimiento de la gloria de Dios se esparcirá sobre todo lugar. And the knowledge of the glory of God will be spread Así como over las the earth. aguas cubren the, la mar. In the same manner that the waters cover the seas. Ciertamente. Certainly, Como nación, as a nation, hay una sequía. there is a drought, espiritual, a spiritual drought, y Dios va a enviar su lluvia. and God will send his rain. Y vamos a ver personas and we're going to see people que ni vamos a creer that we, we're not going to believe our eyes, entregándose al Señor. surrendering their lives to God, entregándose a Dios. Porque esa lluvia los va a impactar. because the rain of his spirit will porque no hay manera que bajo una lluvia tú no te mojes. There's no way that when it's raining you're going to stay dry. No. <laughs> Le va a caer la lluvia. You're going to get wet. El Espíritu Santo los va a coger. The Holy Spirit will, will take them. Y ellos van a ser salvos. And he's going to drench them and they'll be saved. Y ellos van a decir, a mí nadie me predicó. They're going to say, nobody preached me. To Pero me. la lluvia me cayó. But this, the Porque una iglesia que estaba orando por eso. Because there was a church that was praying for that. Porque aunque nadie me predicó, because even when nobody había una iglesia me, orando there was a church that para was que esa lluvia cayera. So that that rain would come. Y vamos a ser testigos de eso. And we're going to be witnesses of it. ¿Sí? Yes. Vamos a ser testigos de esa Amen. lluvia. We're going to be witnesses Yo lo creo. Of it. I believe it. Yes, Lord. Yo lo creo. Amen. I believe Pero vamos a seguir leyendo. But let's continue reading. En el versículo 42 le dijo, In le dijo Elías acá, dijo, acá, dijo, dice, acá subió a comer y a beber, y Elías subió a la cumbre del Carmelo, y postrándose en tierra, puso su rostro entre las rodillas. So Ahab, the king, went up there to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. ¿Qué hizo Elías? What did Elijah do? Dice la palabra que se fue al Monte Carmelo. The Bible says that he went up to the top of Mount Carmel. ¿Qué había en el Monte Carmelo? What was there at the top of Mount Carmel? En el Monte Carmelo había un altar que había sido restaurado a Jehová. There was a, an altar that had been restored to the name of Jehovah. En aquel lugar se había manifestado el poder de Dios. In that location, the power of God had manifested. En aquel lugar el fuego de Dios había descendido. In that place, the fire of God had descended. En aquel lugar el pueblo de Israel declaró con su boca, Jehová es Dios. In that place, the people of Israel declared that Jehovah is God. Porque en aquel lugar ciertamente Dios se manifestó. Because on that location certainly God manifested. Y allí estaba Elías. And, and there Elijah was found. En el Monte Carmelo. On the top of Mount Carmel. Allí fue y dice que se postró. And in that location it says that he, he dropped to his knees. En la tierra. On dice, the earth. 
su, su, así estaba, su cabeza sobre las rodillas. He, he was in this posture, in this manner, with his face upon en his knees. En un acto de humillación. And it was an act of, of surrender, of, 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 hum, of humbling ¿Sí? himself. No, lo que Dios nos está diciendo <laughs> es iglesia empieza a orar por esa lluvia. What God is saying, church, start praying for that rain. Y ven a buscarme al monte. And come, because you will find me on the top of that mountain. <laughs> ven a buscarme al monte. Come and, and find me at the top of that mountain. Sí, ven a buscarme en ese lugar secreto. Come and find me in that secret place of prayer. Sí, mm -hmm. ven a buscarme en el aposento. Come and, and, and seek me in the upper room. Sí, eso fue lo que hizo Elías. That's what Elijah did. Cuando escuchó. When he heard. <laughs> Que venía la lluvia. That the rain was coming. Uh. Vamos, iglesia. Vamos a orar. Church, let's Por pray. la lluvia. For the rain. ¿Dónde? Where? En el monte. In the mountain. <laughs> Donde tú restauraste tu altar. In the place where you restored your altar. ¿Sí? Allí fue, en ese lugar, ahí fue donde Elías restauró el altar de Jehová. In Mount Carmel was the location where Elijah restored the altar of God. Y allí nos quiere el Señor. And that's where God wants us. En ese lugar. In that place. Orando. Praying. Para que la lluvia caiga. So that the rain would fall. Luego en el versículo 43 dice lo siguiente. And, and after uh, in verse 43 it says the following. Y dijo a su criado, sube ahora y mira hacia el mar. Y él subió y miró y dijo, no hay nada. Y él le volvió a decir, vuelve siete veces. And he said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there's nothing. And he said, go again, seven times. Cuando nosotros vamos a la presencia de Dios. When we go to the presence of God. Y nos postramos. We prostrate y comenzamos a orar. And we start praying. Y estamos un rato. And we're there. Nos levantamos. We get up. No pasó nada. Nothing happened. <laughs> nada pasó. Nothing happened. ¿Qué le dijo el siervo? What did the servant no say? No veo nada. He said, I don't see anything. No hay nada. There's nothing. ¿Qué le dijo Elías? What did Elijah Ve say? siete veces. Go again seven no te times. rindas, iglesia. Don't give up. No es que vayas a orar una vez por la lluvia. He's, he's not saying pray once for Dios the rain. Dios te está diciendo, vas a orar por la lluvia. You're gonna, he says, you're going to pray, pray for the rain. En el lugar, en el monte. In the location of the mount. Y no vas a ir una vez. And you're not going to go there once. Y no ves siete. But you're going to go there seven ¿Qué times. ¿Qué significa? Sigue insistiendo. What he's saying is pursue it. Sigue insist insistiendo. On, insist on it. No te rindas a la primera. Don't give up on the first mm -hmm. prayer. No te rindas a la primera oración. Don't give up. No, mm -hmm. porque ¿qué, qué vio el siervo en la primera? What did the servant say after the first prayer? No vio nada. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Entonces él dijo, no, es que tienes que ir siete veces. Elijah said, no, you have to do it seven sí. times. Tienes que persistir. You have to persist. Persistencia. Persistence. Como, como, el, como la viuda. Just like the widow. Sí. Yes. Que fue para que el juez le hiciera justicia. And went before that judge that, ¿Ah? that she could receive justice. Dice que fue una vez. Does it say that she went once? No. Mm -hmm. Ella fue la primera vez y que recibió nada. She went the first time and she received nothing. Dile que se vaya. They told her. No la voy a atender. Get away from the court. I'm ¿Ah? not going to see you. Al otro día. The next day. Allí estaba. She was there again. Nothing. Juez, vas a atender mi caso. Judge, are you going to see my case or not? No, no, no te voy a atender hoy tampoco. I'm not going to see you today either. Ok. All right. Dos veces y no vio nada. Two times she Pero didn't see insistiendo. Anything. But she came and Siguió she insisted. insistiendo. She continued Día insisting. tras día. Day after day. Hasta que el juez dijo, ya la voy a atender porque ya. Until the, the judge had to me give tiene up cansado. and say, I'm, I'm tired of this woman. Let me see her sí. case. Es demasiado su insistencia. She's too insistent. Y como iglesia tenemos que ser así. And as a church, we have to be in the same manner. Insistente. Insistent. Nosotros queremos ver la lluvia caer. We want to see the rain fall. Tenemos que insistir. We have to insist no, in no, prayer. No podemos ser de una, nada más. You can't just do one prayer no, and say, oh. Señor, lléname. Say, Lord, Señor, fill me. Señor, lléname, pero insiste. But insist on it. Insiste. Insist. Como Elías le dijo a su siervo. As Elijah said to his servant. Seven times. No te rindas. Don't give up. 
Versículo 44. Verse 44. A la séptima vez dijo, yo veo una pequeña nube como la palma de la mano de un hombre que sube del mar. Y él dijo, ve y di acá, unce tu carro y desciende para que la lluvia no te ataje. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up say, uh, un, and say unto Ahab the king, Prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Woo. A la séptima vez pasó algo. In the seventh occasion, something happened. Descendió fuego del cielo. Did no. fire come from heaven? No. No. Dice que de lejos el siervo vio una nubecita. It says that from afar over the sea he saw a little, a little cloud. Sí. Entonces cuando nosotros estemos orando por esa lluvia. So when we start praying for that rain. No te enfoques en que vas a ver una pelota de nube aquí bien grande. Don't, don't be focused that you're going to see a real Big thunderstorms. No, no, porque Dios va a comenzar poco a poco. Because God is going to start small. Va a comenzar con algo pequeño. He's going to start with something small. Va a, va a comenzar con un grupo pequeño. He's going to start with a small group. Sí. Yes. Porque a veces nosotros oramos y como vemos las cosas, ay, yo yo he pensado, yo esperaba algo más grande, pero no. Because some of us uh, come to pray with this expectation, and you pray and you say, well, I expected something bigger. Sí. A veces oramos y decimos, bálame, es una campaña y se convirtió uno. And sometimes we pray in, for, for a crusade and only one soul came to Christ. Sí, porque Dios comienza con algo. Yo no necesita uno nada más. Yes, because God just needs one. Él necesita uno solamente. He Él no necesita una multitud para, para, para ganar una nación. He doesn't need a multitude to gain a nation. Él necesita uno. He just needs one. <laughs> A uno que esté dispuesto one who is a pararse en el, stand, y, y ponerse ahí en el vallado. Uno solo. Just one. Así que cuando estemos orando so when you and I por esa lluvia, for that rain, vas a ver pasando cosas pequeñas. You're going to start seeing small things occur. Mm, vas a ver una nube pequeña. You're going to see a small little cloud. Y tal vez para el siervo decir, ay bendito, ta, ta, tanto que este Elías se ha matado a llorando para esa nubecita. And maybe the servant could have thought, wow, after all these years that Elijah has been praying, look at that, all that for just that little puff of, of cloud. Sí, sí, porque puede haber gente afuera que te esté diciendo, y tanto que tú has orado para eso. And there could be people out there saying, how, how long are you going to continue praying for that? Did you, you prayed all that time just for that? Sí. Pero eso pequeño es lo que Dios necesita, nada más. And that is the small thing that God needs, that's sí, it. Sí, para que, un, para que un gran fuego se encienda, ¿qué es lo que se necesita? Una chispa, all nada the, más. All the great fires in the world, all they need to, 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 to initiate is a little spark, ¿Sí? one spark. Tú no necesitas un gran fuego, una chispa. You don't need a fire thrower, all you need is a spark. Y para que la lluvia comience, se necesita una pequeña nube, and for nada that, más. And for rainfall to come, all we need is one little cloud to accumulate. Y Elia le dice al rey, Unce tu carro y arranca porque la, para que la lluvia no te vaya a atajar. ¿Sabe qué? El siervo estaba viendo una pequeña nubecita, pero ya ella le estaba diciendo, va a caer un clase aguacero aquí, acá. Sal cogiendo porque si no, te va a agajar y no va a poder salir de aquí. Look at the contrast between the servant and between Elijah. Elijah says, go tell the king to get his chariot ready because the floodwaters are going to overtake him. Look at the difference that the servant was seeing a cloud while the prophet was seeing rivers overflowing, flood waters. La fe de Elías. The faith of Elijah. Uh -huh. ah. mm -hmm. ¿Qué necesita Dios? La fe de la iglesia. What does God need from you? Your faith. Sí. That's tu all. fe para provocar que esa pequeña nube se va a convertir en algo grande. Your faith so that that little, little cloud will be provoked by your faith to become a great cloud. La fe de la iglesia. The faith of the church. Y dice el versículo 45. And verse 45 says, Y aconteció, estando en esto, que los cielos se oscurecieron con nubes y vientos, y hubo una gran 
lluvia. Y subiendo acá vino a Jezreel. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Y ahí, vemos la, ahí vimos la manifestación. And there we see the manifestation of sí. what Elijah had seen. De lo que el siervo había visto, de la nubecita que el siervo había visto. From the little cloud that the servant had observed. Ahora se oscurecieron los cielos. Now the skies were, were darkened. Y dice que hubo, no una pequeña lluvia. Now it says there was not a little rainfall. Una gran lluvia. But a great storm. Porque eso es lo que estamos esperando. Because this is what we're expecting. Porque eso es lo que Dios va a hacer. Because this is what God is going to do. Él va a traer una gran lluvia. He's going to bring a great rainfall. Sí. Amen. Yo creo en esa gran lluvia. I believe in that. <laughs> Voy a ver la nubecita. I'm going to see that little cloud. Pero mi fe me va, me va a llevar a qué? A but, creer que esa, de esa pequeña nubecita va a salir una gran lluvia. But my faith will take me to the expectation that from that small little cloud, a great rainfall will come. <laughs> Una gran lluvia, iglesia. A great rainfall, church. <laughs> y esa, esa es la in, y por eso Dios me inquietó esta mañana. And this is why God uh, moved me this morning. Me dijo, ora por esa lluvia. And he said, pray for that rain. Porque lo que escuchaste va a venir. Because that that you heard and listened will come. Y la iglesia tiene and the church has to que orar. to pray Por esa lluvia. for that rain. Sí? Yes. Porque Dios se va a manifestar y vamos a ver cosas que no vamos a entender. Because God is going to start manifesting on earth and we're going to see things that we don't understand. Aquí ocurrió algo que es difícil de entender. Something occurred here that is very difficult for you to understand. Mira lo que dice el versículo 46. Look what verse 46 says. Dice, y la mano de Jehová estuvo sobre Elías, el cual ciñó sus lomos y corrió delante de Acab hasta llegar a Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins, and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. <laughs> Yo digo, espérate. Translation. Primero, mm -hmm. él le di, Elías le dice a Acab que se trepe en el carro y salga corriendo porque la lluvia lo va a lo, lo the first instruction that Elijah gives to the king is get your chariots ready and start running because the flood waters are going to reach you. Pero ahora me dice but now in verse 46 it says que Jehová estuvo sobre Elías it says the hand of God was upon Elijah y que Elías ciñó su lomo o sea se amajó el, la, la bata and he, guarded, he girded up his loins y his corrió garments, and he ran delante de Acab in front of the chariot of Abel. ¿Cómo es posible que tú estés corriendo delante de un carro? How is it possible that you could run faster than a chariot of horses? Si no es por la manifestación de Dios. If it's not by the manifestation of God. No hay God. manera de que Elías lo alcanzara. There's no way that Elijah could uh, in the natural. Corriendo naturalmente tú no lo podrías hacer. You can't reach that chariot. Ah, pero cuando se manifiesta el poder de Dios. But when the, the power of God ah, manifests. ¿Qué hizo? Lo llevó allí. He took him there. He ah? pulsed him there. Lo mismo que hizo con Felipe. The same thing he did with Philip. Cuando lo llevó a donde el etíope. When the, 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 the uh, Ethiopian was in his chariot also. Ah, él estaba en una carroza. He was also in a chariot. ¿Cómo es posible que de donde estaba Felipe iba a llegar a la carroza? How is it possible from the location, geographical position where uh, Philip found themselves, how could he reach a running chariot? Sino por la manifestación de ese poder sobrenatural de Dios. It's not by the manifestation of the supernatural power of God. Por eso. For this reason. Esa lluvia. That rain. Va a provocar. Will provoke. Que el poder de Dios se manifieste de tal manera. That the power of God will manifest in such a way. Que vamos a ver cosas. That we're going to see things. Que vamos a decir eso es imposible. That we're going to say that's impossible. No, no. Eso naturalmente eso imposible. Naturally, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Pero It's que impossible. imposible para Dios. But is there anything impossible for God? <laughs> Habrá algo imposible para Dios. Is there anything impossible for God? No lo hay. There no is lo none. hay. There is none. Sí, 
Por eso nosotros tenemos que orar. This is, this is the reason we need to pray. Porque esto lo provocó la oración de un siervo de Dios. Because this action was provoked by the prayer of a servant of God. Y como iglesia nosotros vamos a provocar que esa lluvia caiga. And, and as a church in the same manner we will provoke that rainfall to come. Y veremos todas estas cosas manifestarse. And we will see all these things manifest. Y vamos a ver cómo Dios nos va a mover a lugares. And you see how God sends us out to places. <laughs> sí? Yes. Como movió a su siervo. In the same manner he moved his servant. Lo, yo, difícil yo poder llegar allá. It's very difficult for me to ah, reach that place. Ah, difícil para mí. For me. Pero para Dios no. But for God no. Sí? Por eso no nos pongamos límites. So this is right we shouldn't put limits Cuando Dios te dice, te voy a llevar allá. When the Lord says, I'm going to take you there. Créelo. Believe it. Créelo. Believe it. Porque tal vez tú dices, no tengo el dinero. You'll probably say, I don't have the money. No tengo los recursos. I don't have the resources. No tengo el avión. I don't have no the tengo plane. El carro. I don't have a car. Pero Dios no necesita nada de eso. But God doesn't need any of those things. <laughs> de Jehová la tierra, su plenitud del mundo y todo lo que ni la habita. Everything on earth belongs to God. So, Él usa todo para cumplir el plan de Él. He uses all His resources to fulfill His will. Y eso hace Dios. And that's what God does. Y eso fue lo que hizo con Elías. And that's exactly what he did with sí. Elijah. Yes. So, el, Dios le dejó ver a Elías muchas cosas. God let Elijah see many things. Y le dejó experimentar muchas cosas. And he let him experience many things. Para que él estuviera convencido del Dios que le estaba sirviendo. So that he could be convinced of the God that he was serving. Sí. No es que, no, no es que Dios no necesite... Eh, Dar evidencia de su poder, ¿verdad? Eso no. It's not like God needs to give more evidence of his power, of his existence. Pero lo hace muchas veces por nuestra incredulidad. But he does it because of our doubt. Sí. Our... Y él dice, yo lo voy a hacer porque, en verdad, que si no, no lo hago de esta manera, este no se va a mover. He says, I'm going to do it this way because if he doesn't believe, he's not going to move. Sí. Como Gedeón. Oye, señor, like, si tú... Like Gideon. <laughs> pidiéndole prueba. He was asking for confirmation. If you wet this coin and the, and the earth is dry, then I'll know for sure that you, you sent me. Sí. Como nosotros nos pasamos pidiéndole al Señor, ¿verdad? Que nos dé confirmación. Pues el Señor en su misericordia lo hace. In the same manner that we ask God for confirmations, in the same manner for his grace and his mercy, he, he fulfills it and gives it. Y así lo hizo, con, lo hizo con Elías. And in the same manner he did it with Elijah. Y te está dejando saber, iglesia, and he's letting you que know, de la misma church, manera que él usó a Elías, that in the same way that he used Elijah, también te va a usar a ti. He will use you. Sí. Yes. Porque él te está diciendo, iglesia, ahora, ¿para qué? Para que la lluvia caiga. He's saying, church, pray, so what? For what reason? So that the rainfall will come. Sí, estamos mirando afuera. And we're looking outside. <laughs> y no creo que vaya a llover hoy. I don't think it's raining today. Está bastante despejado. Sunny. It looks pretty clear to Pero me. El Señor dijo but the Lord said, si lloraba, iba a llover. but he said, if I pray, it's going to rain. Pues entonces, yo, ¿a quién le voy a creer? So who am I going to believe? I'm going to believe what I'm seeing o a lo que Dios está diciendo. or what God is speaking. Yo me voy por lo que Dios dice. I'm going to go with what God speaks. Sí, yo me voy por ahí. Amen, I'm going that man. Sí, porque el, el siervo cuando miró dijo, no veo nada. Because when the servant went, he said, I don't see, I don't see anything. <laughs> yo quiero hacer lo que Dios me está pidiendo que haga. I want to do what God is asking me to sí. do. Y si Dios me está diciendo, ora por la lluvia, yo voy a estar orando por esa And lluvia. And if God is requiring us to pray for the rain, we're going to pray for the rain. Porque lo vamos a ver. We're going to see it. Vamos a ver la lluvia. <coughs> we're going to see it. Vamos a ver la lluvia caer. We're going to see the rain fall. Vamos a ver el fin de la sequía. We're going to come to the end of our spiritual drought. Sí. Vamos a ver el fin de esa sequía, iglesia. We're going to see the end of that drought. La lluvia va a caer. The rain will fall. Sí. Yes. Aunque el mundo nos diga, aunque para allá diga, estos tipos están locos, esa iglesia está. Even when the world says, this church is crazy. <laughs> sí. Yeah. Porque no va. Cuando, de, luego que esto pasa. As a result of this. Viene acá en el, en el capítulo 19. Ahab goes now in chapter 19. Le contó a, a su esposa lo que Elías había hecho. He shared with his wife what Elijah had done. De cómo había matado a espada a todos los profetas. And how he had killed all, all the prophets with his, with his sword. Le llevó la mitad del mensaje. Only half of that message he received. ¿Sí? Why? No le dijo, y yo vi a un Elías. 
He, he didn't tell her. I saw an Elijah en el Monte Carmelo on Mount Carmel orar frente a aquel sacrificio to pray on that altar y ver descender el poder de Dios and I saw the power of God descend upon that y consumir place aquel sacrificio. and to consume that sacrifice. ¿No le dijo eso? He didn't share that no. with his wife. No le dijo, y yo vi a ese mismo hombre and he didn't say, I saw that same man subir al Monte Carmelo to go up to Mount Carmel y orar por de rodillas and pray on his knees y provocar que la sequía de tres años se fuera and provoke that the drought of three years would cease no le dijo eso he forgot to mention that to his wife sí porque a veces nosotros se nos olvida hablar lo que Dios ha hecho en nuestra vida because many times we we forget to share that. Y vamos allá a dar life. malas noticias al mundo. And we go and give bad news. We share bad Ay, news with the world. Ay, pero qué malo están las cosas. Oh, how difficult life is. Oh, pero mira esta guerra que están ahí. And all these wars that are coming. Nos vamos con malas noticias. And we go with bad news. Pero vamos a darle las buenas noticias al mundo. But let's give them the good news. Sí, es cierto. Yes, no estamos true. negando la realidad de que hay guerras. We're not denying the reality Pero of yo wars. tengo un Dios de poder. But I serve a God of un Jehová power. que se llama Jehová de los ejércitos. And his name is Jehovah, the mighty que ese God es el que me va a defender. Of the armies. He is going to defend us. Y de ese lado es que yo estoy. And I'm on his side. Del lado de Jehová de los ejércitos. We're on his side. De un Dios de poder. The God of the host de un Dios of que hace milagros. Of power. De un Dios miracles. que salva. That saves. Sí. De un Dios que restaura. A God that restores. Sí. Yes. De un Dios que liberta. A God that delivers. Sí. De un Dios que te saca de esa tristeza y esa depresión. A God that rescues you from your sadness and depression. Porque es un Dios de paz. Because he is a God of peace. Sí. Yes. No vayamos con medias no, noticias al mundo. Let's not share our, our negative news to the no, world. No le den más que la, la, la mitad difícil. Don't give them half of the news. Dale esperanza. Give them hope. Sí, lleva la esperanza. Give them hope. Háblale de ese Dios que tú le estás sirviendo. Speak about that God that you're serving. Sí, yes. de ese que hace descender fuego del cielo. That one that, that makes fire descend from heaven. De ese que hace que caiga la lluvia aunque esté despejado. That who causes the rain to fall even when it's not even cloudy. De ese Dios de poder. Speak of that God of power. Porque ellos necesitan conocer ese Dios de poder. Because they need to know that, that God of power. Porque ellos necesitan ese Salvador. Because they need that Savior. ¿Sí? Yes. No hagas como hizo Acab. Don't do like Ahab did. Ve con la noticia completa. Go with the full report. Sí, esto está difícil. Yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> Pero yo tengo un Dios que me da esperanza. But I have a God that gives me hope. Que me dice que sí, ciertamente voy a tener aflicciones. Yeah, the Bible says certainly I will have afflictions. Pero él dice que en medio de ellas él está conmigo. But it says that in the midst of them he's with me. Que yo puedo estar en medio de un desierto. That I could be in the middle of a wilderness. Pero ciertamente no estoy solo. But certainly I'm not alone. Porque él camina conmigo. Because he is walking with me. Y él prometió llevarme a, la, a una tierra que fluye leche y miel. And he promised me that he would take me to a land where, where milk and honey flow. A ese es el Dios que yo le sirvo. This is the God that I serve. Sí. No yes. es el que me deja tirado en el piso. Not the one that leaves me on, no. on the floor and abandons me. Es el que me levanta cuando ya no tengo fuerzas. He's the one that lifts me up when I have no strength. Él es el que multiplica las fuerzas de aquel que no tiene ninguna. He is the one that multiplies the strength of he who has none. Sí, él da fuerza al cansado. He gives uh, strength to he who is tired. A ese Dios yo le sirvo. That is the God I serve. Esa es mi esperanza. That is my ¿Ves? hope. Que el día que que, que esto que tengo aquí que es una leve tribulación momentánea that that I am experiencing today which is a, 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 a minuscule uh, tribulation no se compara is, has no comparison con, con esa gloria y esa vida eterna que voy a estar with the glory juntamente con él and the eternal life that no I hay comparación there is no comparison a ese Dios yo le sirvo I serve that God. Y ese es el Dios que nosotros le presentamos al mundo. And this is the God that we present to the world el que nos da la esperanza the one that gives us the hope no que nos mantiene hundidos en tristeza. Not the, the one that keeps us in, in, in sadness. No Lleva la noticia it. completa. Give the full report. Sí. Yeah. Lleva la noticia completa. Give iglesia. the full report. No solamente la parte triste. Not the negative part alone. 
Vamos a orar por esa lluvia. Are we going to pray for that rain? Sí. Vamos a orar por esa lluvia. Are we going to pray for that rain? <laughs> Semanas. Weeks. Hemos estado orando. We have been praying. Para que el fuego de Dios. For, so that the uh, fire of God. Se mantenga en este, en este altar. Should main, shall maintain itself on this altar. Y hoy. And today. Dios nos está diciendo. God is telling us. Oren por lluvia. Pray for rainfall. Oren por lluvia. Pray for rainfall. Sí. Yes. Y es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. And that's what we're going to do. Y ese es el reto de hoy para nosotros. And that's the challenge for us today. Sí. Como iglesia. As a church. Vamos a orar. Let us pray. Y yo, yo quiero que ustedes me acompañen. And I want you to accompany me. Y se pongan de acuerdo con, lo, con esta palabra que acabamos de leer. And that you would come in agreement with the word of God that we have spoken. Sí. Porque Dios está diciéndonos. Ustedes quieren ver la lluvia. Because God is telling us, okay, I hear that you want, you want rain. Es hora que ores. Well, now it's time to pray. Es momento de subir al monte. It's time to go up to the mountain. Sí. Es momento de ir a, a ese lugar. It's time to go to that location. Donde tú te vas a conseguir conmigo. Where you're going to find yourself with sí. me. Y vas a ver la manifestación de mi poder. And you're going to see the manifestation of my power. Porque ciertamente hay, hay sequía. Because certainly there's a great drought. Sí. Hay sequía, iglesia. There's, there's a great drought. Y necesitamos orar por esa lluvia. And we need to pray for that rainfall. Que nos llene a nosotros. To fill us first. Sí. Yes. Y que, y que salpique al mundo. And that it saturates the world. Que lo sature. Que esa lluvia. That that rain. Provoque en nosotros provoque, transformación y cambio. Provoque en nosotros transformación y cambio. Y provoque en ellos salvación. And provokes in the rest of the world salvation. Podemos orar por eso. Can we pray for that? Amen. Vamos a orar. Sí. Amen. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Porque eso es lo que va a mover la mano de Dios. Amen. Because that's the only thing that's going to move the hand of God. Exacto. Muy bien. Muy bien. Hay un espacio. Like making space for after you have dinner for your for your dessert and your coffee. Vamos a orar. Let us pray. Padre, nos aquí, Señor. Father, here we are. Este es el lugar donde nosotros nos congregamos, Señor. This is the place where we congregate, Lord. Aquí está tu altar, Señor. Here's your altar, Lord. Aquí está tu altar, Padre Santo. Here's your altar, Lord. Así como, como Elías se acercó y subió al Monte Carmelo, Padre. In the same manner that Elijah Así tú nos invitas mountain, Father, a venir manner, al altar. You invite us to come to your Así tú nos invitas a venir delante de tu presencia, Señor. You, you invite us to come before your presence. Y aquí estamos, Señor. And here we are, Lord. Venimos ante ti, Padre Santo. We come before you, Lord. Rogando y orando and praying. para que tú So that derrames you la lluvia release the rainfall porque ciertamente señor because certainly lord estamos escuchando la lluvia we are hearing it He escuchado tu lluvia señor i've heard your rain esta mañana padre santo this morning i heard estaba it. aquí frente a tu altar while i was praying before your altar escuché la lluvia señor i heard your rainfall no la veía señor solo la escuchaba i couldn't santo. see it father i only could hear it y me llevaste, Señor, And you took me, oh Lord, a compartir esto con mis hermanos. Señor. This with my brothers, Lord. Y aquí está tu iglesia, Señor. And here's your church, que se ha unido, Padre Santo. Who has united a orar, Padre, por esa lluvia. For that rainfall, esa lluvia, Señor, que descienda desde lo alto, that Padre Santo. From, from the high place. Que esa lluvia, Señor, sature, Señor, todas nuestras vidas, Padre that Amado. That that will all our lives. Oramos, Señor, para que esa sequía que hay en nosotros termine hoy, Padre Santo. We pray that that drought that we're experiencing today will end today. Oh, Rey de Gloria, esa, esa sequía que no sé cuánto ha durado, uno, dos, tres años, Señor, pero hoy, tú dices, hoy, hoy, porque yo voy a quitar esa sequía. Oh, King of Glory, I don't know how how long that drought has been in everyone's life, but today you will remove that drought. Hoy es el día, Señor. Today is the day. En que tú derramas la lluvia, Padre Santo. Where you pour out your rain. Oh, Rey de Gloria, porque hay una pequeña nube. 
because there is a small cloud. Hay una pequeña nube que se está acercando, aleluya. Hay una pequeña nube que se está acercando, Señor, aleluya. There is a cloud that is drawing near. Se está acercando, Padre. It's drawing near, Lord. Pero no se queda ahí, Señor. But it will not remain there. Sino que vemos los cielos. But we see the heavens. Uh, y vemos, Señor, que se está oscureciendo. We see it, that they're being darkened. Que se están preparando, Señor. That the storm que is, la lluvia is getting se, ready. Que las nubes se están cargando, Padre Santo. That the clouds are getting loaded. Porque la lluvia se derrama, Padre. Because the rain falls fall upon this house. En este lugar, Señor. Así como tú dices en tu palabra, Padre. As you say in Así your como word. lo declarar en tu palabra, Señor. As you declare it in Una your pequeña word. nube, Señor. A small cloud. Esa pequeña nube está sobre este lugar, Padre It Santo. Upon this y tu lluvia se está derramando, Dios. And your rain will fall. Y tu lluvia se está derramando hoy, Señor. And your rain will fall. We'll start y tu Espíritu today. Santo se está derramando And hoy, Señor. Porque tú estás haciendo cosas nuevas hoy, Padre Because Santo. Tú estás moviendo a tu iglesia a hacer algo nuevo, Because Padre Amado. Porque hay cosas, Señor, que veremos, Padre Amado. We'll que no las vamos a creer, Señor. Pero son las que tú harás. Así como do. hiciste con Elías, Señor. Like Elijah, que le diste, Señor, la capacidad de alcanzar el carruaje del rey, Señor. Así, Señor, harás con nosotros. Nos darás la capacidad de alcanzar aquellos que no han sido alcanzados, Padre. Oh, Rey de Gloria, para que tu lluvia se derrame sobre ellos también, Padre Amado. Para que tu lluvia se derrame también sobre ellos, Señor, Padre Santo. Porque ciertamente, mi Rey, esa lluvia... Temprana y tardía caerán a la misma vez, Padre Santo. Aleluya. Oh, Rey de Gloria. Y la, la tierra, Señor, será llena, Señor, de esa agua, de tu lluvia, Padre Santo. Así, Señor, se esparcirá tu gloria. Así, Señor, se esparcirá tu Espíritu Santo. Mi Rey de Gloria. Y los niños profetizarán. And the children will prophesy. Y los jóvenes serán visiones. And the young men will have visions. Y los ancianos soñarán sueños. And the elders shall have dreams. Y la tierra será llena de tu gloria, Padre. And the earth will be filled with your Así glory. como las aguas cubren la mar, Padre Santo. The same manner that the water Esta gran the lluvia oceans. cubrirá la tierra, Señor. That grain rainfall will cover y lo que earth. estaba seco, Padre Santo, and that which was reverdecerá, dry, Padre amado. Will come back to life. Porque la, la lluvia, Señor, Because the rain nos da vida. Gives us life. Porque la lluvia, Señor, Because the rain nos da vida. Gives us life. Y estamos, Señor, experimentando tu lluvia and now we're experiencing your rain. y está saciando nuestra sed and you're quenching our thirst. está saciando Señor esta sed de tu pueblo you're Padre quenching amado the thirst of your people. y está saciando la sed del mundo Padre. And you're quenching the thirst that the te world pido por has. esta nación Padre Santo I pray for this nation. me arrepiento Señor porque te hemos dado la espalda I Padre Santo because we have turned our backs to porque you, hemos Father. legislado Señor leyes que van contrarias a, a los valores de tu reino, Padre. Oh, Rey de Gloria, en un acto de humillación me humillo por esta nación, Padre Santo. Oh, King of Glory, I, I, I humble myself y, y te for pido perdón, Padre Amado. And I repent, and I porque ask te for hemos dado la espalda, Señor. Because we've turned our backs y me humillo, you. Señor. And I humble myself. Porque tu palabra dice, si se humillare mi pueblo sobre el cual mi nombre es invocado. For if, if, those, if my people would humble themselves, Those who are called by my name. Y se convirtieren de sus malos caminos. They would turn away from their evil ways. Dice, yo perdonaré sus pecados. I will forgive them. Dice, yo sanaré sins. la tierra. And I will heal the, their, Esa es their tu land. palabra, Señor. That is his word. Y eso, y eso hacemos, Señor. Nos humillamos ante ti, Padre Santo. We humble ourselves before Para you. que seas tú, Señor. That perdonando you, nuestros Lord, pecados forgiving our sins. y sanando esta tierra and healing this land. derrama tu lluvia Señor Pour out your rain. esa lluvia Señor de that gloria del cielo Lord. derrámala Señor derrámala Pour Señor it out, oh Lord. Pour it out. derrámala sobre aquellos que todavía no te han conocido Pour Padre, it out upon those who have yet not known you, Lord. para que lleguen a ti Señor that they could draw near to you. derrámala sobre aquellos que se han apartado Señor 
Send your rain to those who have, uh, have left you behind, Lord. Para que regresen a ti, Señor. Who have backslidden, that they would turn to you, Lord. Porque ciertamente, Padre Santo, certainly, tu oh lluvia Lord, traerá transformación. Your rain will bring transformation. Tu lluvia traerá transformación, your Señor. Rain will bring transformation. Porque será el poder tuyo derramado the power of God en este lugar poured out in this y en place. esta nación, Padre And Santo. In this nation. Y se esparcirá, Señor. And it will disperse. Así como se esparce el fuego, Señor, rápidamente, así se esparcirá, fire, Padre Santo. It will come like a great fire and consume everything. Oh, Rey de gloria, derrama. Derrama. King of glory, pour out. Derrama. Pour out. Derrama la lluvia, Señor. Pour out the rain. Aquí está tu iglesia, Padre Here Santo. En el monte, Señor. You're en el altar. altar. Padre Santo, derrama tu lluvia, Padre amado. Y no nos rendimos, Señor. No nos rendimos hasta que tú derrames tu lluvia, Padre Santo. Aleluya. Porque así como Elías le dijo a su siervo, ve siete veces. Así insistiremos, Señor. Iremos una. Iremos dos, iremos tres, hasta siete veces, hasta siete veces, siete si es necesario, Señor. Vendremos en tu presencia, Padre Santo, para que tú derrames tu lluvia, Señor. Para ver esa pequeña nube, Señor, derramarse sobre este lugar, derramarse sobre nuestras vidas, Padre Santo. Aleluya. Porque tu lluvia, Señor, traerá transformación, Padre Santo. Aleluya. Y aquellos que están perdidos, Señor, tú los restaurarás y los salvarás, Padre Santo, aleluya. Aquellos que están atados, Señor, tú les traerás libertad y romperás las cadenas, Padre Santo, Aquellos que están enfermos, Señor, sanarán, Padre. Y no lo van a creer. ¿Cómo es posible? Que yo esté sano. Pero es por tu lluvia. It's because of your el poder rain, tuyo derramándose, Señor, power out sobre nuestras vidas, upon our lives, sobre este altar, Señor, upon this altar, sobre esta nación, Padre upon this nation. Pero hay alguien que tiene que provocarlo, Padre. But somebody has to provoke it. Y tú estás llamando a tu iglesia, Señor. And you're calling your church. Porque Elías lo provocó, Padre Santo. Because Elijah listened and he provoked tu siervo lo provocó, Señor. Your servant provoked y aquí estamos nosotros, tu iglesia, provocándolo, Padre and Santo. Here we are. Provoking, provocando it. Tu lluvia. provoking that rain provocando tu lluvia, Señor. provoking that rain no nos cansaremos de insistir, Padre. we will not tire we will porque insist creemos en tu palabra, Padre. because we believe in your word porque creemos en tu poder, Padre because we Santo. believe in your word creemos que tú lo vas a hacer, Señor. we believe you will do it y esa lluvia and that rain y esa will lluvia and Aleluya. that rain will descend Oh, gracias, Dios. Oh, thank you, Lord. Gracias, Padre Santo. Thank you, Holy Father. Gracias, Espíritu Santo thank de Dios. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Porque tanto, hay tantas cosas que tú quieres hacer. There's so many things that you want to do. Pero necesitas obediencia. But you need obedience. Necesita que tu pueblo obedezca, Señor. You need that your people obey your request. Escuche tu voz, Señor, y obedezca, hear your voice and obey. Que no te pregunte. That they won't que ask. Que simplemente camine. Simply do. Simplemente camina, iglesia. That they would simply walk. Iglesia, simplemente camina. Church, simply walk. Y créele a Dios. In his obedience and believe God. Y Él lo va a hacer. And He will do it. Él lo va a hacer. He will do it. Porque él ha escuchado tu clamor. Because he has heard your Porque clamor. él ha escuchado tu corazón. Because he has heard your heart. Porque él ha visto tus lágrimas. Because he has seen your tears. Él lo va a hacer. He will do it. Por la fe. Through faith. Porque tus lágrimas son derramadas delante de él. Because your tears are poured out before. Him. Porque él ha visto cómo tú has clamado. Because he has seen Como tú has how levantado tu mano. Out. How you lifted up your hands. Como tú has estado en tu cama allí. Oh, when you've been at your bed. Y le has pedido, Señor, ayúdame. And you've asked him, Lord, help me. Señor, sáname. Lord, help me. Heal me. Yo te necesito, Señor. I need you, Lord. Y él ha escuchado tu oración. And he has listened to your prayer. Y su fuego cae sobre ti. And hoy. his fire will fall on you. Y su lluvia cae sobre ti. And hoy. his rain. 
falls upon you today. Porque le has creído. Because you have believed. Porque le has creído. Because you have believed. Porque así como Elías no vio. Because just like Elijah. Pero creyó. He didn't see, but he believed. Y se lanzó en fe. And he moved in faith. Y se humilló. And he humbled himself. Y en medio de su humillación, Dios respondió. And in the, the midst of this act en medio of humiliation, de tu humillación a Dios, Dios responde. In that act of humiliation, he will respond to you. Clama a mí, yo te responderé, dice la palabra. Call to me and I will respond. Y esa es palabra de Dios. And that is the word of God. Clama a mí, yo te responderé. Call Hallelujah. me and I shall respond. <laughs> yo no te abandono. I do not abandon you. Tu padre y tu madre te podrán dejar, pero yo no te voy a abandonar. Your mom and dad can abandon you, but I will never abandon you. Yo estoy contigo. I am with you. Todos los días. All the day. Hasta el fin del mundo. Until the end. Dijo Jesús. That's what Jesus Eso said. dice tu Dios. That's what God Eso says. dice nuestro Dios. That's what our God says. Él no te abandona. He will never abandon Él está you. contigo. He is with you. Ciertamente ha escuchado tu oración. Certainly he has listened to your prayers. Espera, iglesia. Espera la lluvia. church. Espera la lluvia. Expect the no rain. te rindas. Don't give up. Espera la lluvia. Don't give up. Que él lo hace. He will do it. Él lo hace. He will do it. Porque este año, Because él dijo year, que él lo hará. He will do él it. dijo que él lo hará. He y yo le creo a él. Él dijo que él lo hará. <laughs> él dijo que él lo hará. Y yo le creo. <laughs> yo le creo a Dios. Él no es hijo de hombre para que mienta. I believe God. He is not a son of man that he would lie. He will do it this year. He will do it. Dios. He is our él God. Es He is our Father. Y lo que él dijo, él lo hará. And what he said, he will do. Yo lo creo. I believe it. ¿Tú lo crees, iglesia? Do you believe it, church? Yo le creo a Dios. I believe Yo le creo God. a Dios. I believe God. Damos gracias al Señor. I thank God. Gracias Dios porque has escuchado thank nuestra you oración. You have heard our prayer. Gracias Lord. Dios porque escuchaste Jesus. la oración del justo. You have listened to the prayer of the just man. Gracias, Padre. And woman. Gracias, Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Hondo <laughs> ah. Thank you, Father, for your word. You remember a couple of years ago, I did a series on the glory is coming. We posted boards up, and everybody thought I was crazy. Yeah. Everybody thought I was going nuts. It's going to happen this year. The glory. The, church, you better listen to what's, what's, what God is going to do. This is why you needed to hear it from a different voice. See that? Because I've been speaking to you for years that this is coming, and you go, yeah, that's what he always says. But you doubt it. Doubt is a, it's a sin to doubt God's word. A man didn't say it. God said it. We're quoting scripture. And this is what he's going to do. He's going to move upon the earth like never before. And when that happens, acceleration comes. That's what happened to Philip. You accelerate. That's what happened to Elijah. It's going to be an acceleration. We are very close to the coming of Christ. You could say it sounds corny. It's okay. You better, you better be on that bus. You, you do not want to remain behind. There you go. You want to be on the soul train. Okay. Only old people like us know what that means. Everybody else has no clue. Uh, God is coming, and I, I thank God for, for speaking. I was, I was, Lord, I was contending with God. I was saying, God, I don't know how to do it anymore. I don't have to do cartwheels. I don't know what to do so that they, people could believe in what you have spoken. And today he gave you a different voice. I know who you. He's, he's, he's coming. His, his power is going to pour out because he, he's already spoken. He's given me a message that I'll share with you about the priesthood of this house. 
And he's putting a demand on us. Amen? I've heard you. Do you really want it? Or are you going to be on Facebook for seven hours, but you don't have time to pray for the rain? Are you going to be so busy in your agenda, you don't have time to pray? God is asking you to pray according to his will. Okay? When you pray according to his will, it will happen. And this is what, what's going to happen. Amen? We're going to see the greatest harvest. And God has marked this house as a place where his spirit will dwell. And that's why he's demanding from the priesthood. I'm going into a 21-day fast on Monday because the Lord requires it from me. He's, he's saying, I'm changing the priesthood. I'm sanctifying the priesthood of this house. And that means you, because this, is, this flows from here. This, this will flow from this holy place. He's going to use you. He's not going to use Billy Graham. He's not going to use Osborne anymore. He's not going to use all the great evangelists died. Why? Because he's going to use the church. Only the church that is saturated with the power of God. Not the lukewarm, the righteous church, the remnant. And we are a remnant. This house is a remnant. I've always preached that to you. We're not a lot. We're going to be the remnant. And God will dwell in this place. They will know this place, not because of our name or who we are. They will know. They will come because they know that the presence of God, not that it visits and leaves, it will dwell in this house. And we will be open 24 by 7, literally, when the rain starts falling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Um, we, we, That's another technique you could use. So, so, so what is God really doing here? Uh, I know something's coming this month. Uh, we're going to start seeing a lot of things. That's why I told you after this eclipse, a lot of things are going to be set in motion. Uh, you know, translation, you, what you saw there. Uh, I, I read a, a missionary I used to follow. He, he was a missionary to, Hind, to India. And the Lord, I, I remember he was giving his testimony, and, and he said, the Lord said, I need you to get on a, 
on a, on a plane and go to India and do a crusade there. And he says, Lord, I, I would love to go, but I don't have a money for a ticket. And, and the Lord says, just pack your bags and go to Heathrow Airport in England. And he was there with his luggage, and he was looking, thinking he was going to find somebody with a sign that says, hey, uh, I'm, I, I've been waiting for you. I got a ticket for you, and follow me. He didn't see any of that. And, and he heard the, the word of the Lord. And he said, the Holy Spirit says, go to the men's bathroom and lock, lock yourself in one of the, one of the, uh, the uh, how do you call those? The, the stalls, yeah. And, and, and he, he says, in the bathroom. <laughs> but he was obedient. That's what God is asking from us, obedience. So he went and he locked himself in the stall. And he said, start praying in tongues. So he started praying in tongues. And after a while, the Holy Spirit said, said stop. Stop praying and step outside. When he stepped outside, he was in India, in the airport terminal of India, just like that. It's called translation. We see the pattern. We see it in the Old Testament with Elijah. We, we see it in the New Testament with Philip, right? Those are things that you're going to start seeing, right? And, but it also speaks of an acceleration. That's why the Lord has been speaking to me, accelerate, acceleration, acceleration, I'm coming fast, right? And that's why I'm telling you, um, you know, um, after this eclipse, there's an acceleration. Seven years of peace, seven years of judgment, and in the middle, the rapture is going to occur, right? So it's, it, we, we no longer have to say, Jesus is coming soon. It sounds corny. No, it's imminent already. And, uh, and uh, I'll preach that to you later, but the, I think what we need to take today is we should not be afraid of this place, of the altar. I, I don't understand why many of you are so afraid of this altar. This is, this is a place where we, we humble ourselves right, before the Lord. This is where the Lord speaks to us. This is the place where we are restored, right? This is the place we're healed. So his word and his spirit flows. So never be afraid of this place. You always come to the altar. Amen. And, and it, he's demanding. I, I knew this was coming because I was, I was telling you, it's going to happen in, in April. I, I just feel this thing in me. And uh, you're going to start seeing things, a lot of things before this month is o over around the world because there's an acceleration. And in, in, in response to that, I already had committed to doing what I'm going to do because I, the, the Lord was taking me there. And if he's doing that with the priests of this house, then you should, you should also commit to make changes in your life and say, I'm going to take an hour of the day, I'm going to separate it, and I'm going to pray for this. Amen? It's coming. All he needs for, is for you to come in agreement with him, and he will do it. Amen? And he's, he's, he's giving us the responsibility because this is what we ask for. We've been praying for this. How many vigils did we do? And we're going to do one this month. Yeah, we're going to do it. How many, how many per churches do vigils anymore? How many churches fast anymore? It's out of style because we're doing church without the Holy Spirit. And we, we think we're going to get results. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It works his way, right? If we humble ourselves, if we turn away from our evil ways, then he will listen and he will forgive us and heal our land. Amen. That's how it works. That formula is his. We can't change that formula. We could do, what, what did the prophets of Baal do? It was ridiculous. They cut themselves. They, they did all kinds of things and nothing. Because there's only one way you approach God, and that's on your knees, through repentance. And a lot of people don't like that because we have proud Christians. We have proud, oh, I, I don't need to do that. I'm intelligent. I have a doctor's degree. The knowledge of the world is foolish to God. He's the God of all wisdom. Okay? So I think we need to take away today. I knew something was happening. I, I could just feel it in my bones, you know? And uh, when God, we've been getting a word from God and 
people has, have come with dreams and confirming things that the Lord has shared with me. And when God does that and he says, I'm going to sanctify this place and the priesthood that speaks from this place, that means holiness is coming. And if holiness is coming, that means the presence of God is coming. That's how it works. God will only be where there's holiness, right? So there's a, he's putting a demand on us, the priest of this house, that you have the blessing of having many. And he's putting a demand on us, but he's putting the demand on the church. Because without holiness, no one will see God. So it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. It means separate yourself from the world, right? From the things of this world. And take time to be in his presence. Amen? If you want to see that happen and manifest it, you have to go seven times. That's the message. We saw the sevens last Sunday, right? Three sevens, right? The two eclipses between seven years, seven states, seven cities. And here the Lord is saying, pray seven times until that you start seeing a cloud. Amen? So I think we as a church have to commit, right? So um, you, you do as the Lord puts on your heart. I'm not here to manipulate you. But if you want, if you want to see the cloud, that's what it's going to take. Amen? And I think you, you shouldn't leave here today without committing your life to prayer. What am I going to pray about? The rain. Amen? The rain. How difficult is that? It's simple. Okay? The rain is coming, so go get some raincoats, go get some boots, go get some umbrellas because the rain is coming. It's, and it's going to flood. It's going to flood out. You know what the funny thing is? He's going to do it with you or without you. It, it, that's, 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 that's the thing. He wants you to, to be on board, but if not, you're going to miss it out. You're going you're to see the glory manifesting, and you're not, you're not going to even know what's happening. And you're not going to be participating in it. So do your time in prayer. Amen? And commit. Because and that, when you pray against God's will, that's why many of you don't see things happen. When you're praying in God's will, things are going to happen. You see what I mean? Because we pray according to his will. Okay? okay? So this is guaranteed. God is again calling the church. You want the rain? I heard you. I've, I've heard your fastings for years. I've heard your vigils for years. Show me you want this and pray. See, it's a commitment. Amen? Elijah humbled himself. Okay? You could pray standing up, but it's not the same when you get on your knees and put your face to the ground. But man, in our fallen nature, we don't like that. Me, 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 me. You know? And that's what happens. Your pride gets in between humility. And God will never reject a humble heart, he says. But the proud, he looks at them from afar. So it's time to humble ourselves. Do it in prayer. We're, we're opening up the, the church on Sundays at 6 in the morning. You should show up, you know, and be counted, okay? Don't be busy doing a lot of things for the Lord. This is what the Lord is requiring right now from you. Stop what you're doing and just require what the Lord is asking you to do, which is pray. You are the ones called by his name. You're the ones that call yourselves Christians, right? So stop giving God hot air and just, just do it, you know? Like Nike says, just do it, right? All right. So let, let us bow our heads. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you because you are moving in the midst of the times. Ooh. Because I could hear the sound of rain. Sure. The sound of many waters, Lord. Hallelujah. And you showed me, Father, that 
that illustration, Father, in the throne of God, there was a river that flowed, a living water, Father. Your voice is the sound of many waters, Father. That's what that means, Father. Bring, bring it on. Fulfill your desire. Pour out your spirit and bring the greatest harvest this earth has ever experienced, Father. In Jesus' name, Father, we will pray once, we will pray twice, we will pray seven times, we will pray seven times seven, Father, until we are flooded, Father. Hallelujah. Put this in the hearts of your children, Father. This is the only thing you're asking in this time, Father, from your church around the world. Pray for the rain. Let us be obedient to that, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. It's not the things that you do. It's what you do when he asks you. And, and God spoke clearly today. Right? Just do it. Don't give excuses. Just go ahead and do it. And we will be... Not spectators, but participators of that move of God. He's going to use you. You're going to be running. There's going to be people running here all around. He's going to send people out to other nations from this house. There's an acceleration. I, I know it because I know it. Evangelist Martinez is going to be with us in May. He's in Pakistan right now. I need you to pray for him. He's going to a Muslim nation where when he preaches, he needs armed guards with him. He has to hire armed guards because the Muslims will kill him. Where nobody wants to go, not those TV evangelists, a real evangelist, okay? So he's asked us to, if we could help him with some Bibles. In Pakistan, they have a really strange dialect, and it's not very common. So what he does is he's paid a translator to translate the, new, the Bible in that dialect, and he has it in PDF, so when he goes there, he prints it out. And uh, the Indian, uh, there's a lot of Indian culture within the Pakistanian, because uh, once they were together, right, so they like to read, and he's, he's started some, with some of his disciples, some prayer groups and Bible groups, but they, they, they told him, we want to read it. So he's going he's gonna, to, when he gets there, he's going to print those that are in, he has a PDF file, he's going to print them and then hand them out. So we're going to send them an offering to help him with that. Amen? And, uh, and we need to pray for him, right? Um, he, he, he talked to me about a crusade that they're asking him to give in Italy and, and in Spain. We need to pray for that because... He said that when he got that word, he was thinking of me. So I might, I might be with him. Or he, I, he'll, he'll go to Italy, I'll go to, to Spain, whatever. But there's an urgency. That's why I know how God is accelerating things. You understand? He, he told me, I will take you to the nations, right? So there's an acceleration happening, right? And I was questioning, Lord, when are you going to do this, when I die? <laughs> but no, there's an acceleration. Okay, so we're going to start seeing this, and that's, that's going to happen to you guys. People are going to say, I need you to send me some leaders. I need you to send me some people that we could trust. We need to plant a church here. We need to plant a church here. We need to go. It's going to happen here with you because there's an acceleration. So the coming of the Lord is close, and we're going to see the greatest harvest around. The Muslims are coming. Even in Iran, even in Iran, even in Iran, uh, the Muslims are converting as we speak uh, to Christianity. That's, that's how uh, this, this whole war thing is going to open up something for the gospel there. I, so that's I, where, you, where people see all this doom, God has a plan, right? I've seen God do this in many wars that I've seen. He, he's entered with, with that door open, and he's established an underground church, right, around the world. So... 
just pray for Brother Martinez. On, he'll be leaving in a week to Pakistan. And after that, he's going to Sierra Leone, right? Who goes to Sierra Leone? That place is impossible. Um, only a man of God goes there, right? When he's called to do it, right? So pray for him. Uh, pray for the protection of Israel, right? Amen. His, their enemies are going to come. They're going to be added weekly. And all you're going to hear is hate against Israel, hate against Israel, hate against Israel. It's okay. Get used to it. That's what's going to happen, right? And soon even the United States is going to betray them, right? Right now, because Biden wants some votes, the, the Jewish people, the, the Democratic vote, there's a lot of Democratic Jews that, that finance his, his, his campaign. That's why he's, he's like talking about, we're not going to abandon them. But there was a vote two weeks ago in the U.N., and they turned their back against Israel. So it's a very ambivalent commitment. And eventually, the United States will turn their back on Israel also. And that's when America will be judged for that. We hope that it doesn't happen on our watch, right? But you're going to see this. But to no avail, because Israel doesn't need America. It needs God protection. You know? God is not impressed with our chariots and our tanks and our airplanes. Amen? Ultimately, he is the protector of Israel. Why? Because he's going to establish his kingdom in Israel. That's, that's home base. Okay? So, be in peace. Just pray according to his will. Right? His will is to protect Israel until he himself returns and put all Israel's enemies at rest. Right? Before that, there's a harvest coming. There's going to be an outpour. This is chronological order. There's going to be outpour of the Spirit of God that is going to provoke a harvest, a global harvest around the world. And then the rapture is going to come of the church. And the judgments are going to come. And the, the cards will fall and the dominoes will fall. Will they fall? According to the will of man. This is what I wanted. Well, you get what you wanted. That's all. It's, it's very simple. Amen? So pray. That's all. Leave, leave here and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix my agenda every day of this week. I'm going to fast. I'm going to vigil. I'm going to do some. I'm going to pray for this because this is what God has demanded of me. I am the church. I am the remnant. Amen? And God just wants you to come in agreement with him, and the rain is coming. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. Amen? So be dismissed today and let the mercy and the grace of God be with you. For the, our friends that visit us today, good seeing you. And uh, hope to see you soon again. All right? Allá, que bueno verla. And uh, my neighbors have been coming here since, uh, since Good Friday. I'm so, so happy to see them here. It's so simple. Just invite somebody. Amen? So we thank God for your lives. Good to see you, my brother. We're going to be giving uh, some, some dis discipleship classes. Uh, Francisco, do you have the date, Francisco? Excuse me. Do you have the date of when you're going to start your next discipleship class? Okay. Okay. So soon we're going to have a discipleship class. There's many of you who have given your heart to the Lord or, or are visiting us. I think that's a good class on Friday that you should take. It'll... it'll give you some some groundwork all right that's so important for you to continue your walk with god amen so i bless you in the name of our lord and jesus christ i thank him buy umbrellas there's some announcements okay we have some announcements okay so buy umbrellas get raincoats and lifesavers amen this is the woman's ministry Coffee with God, I love that name. Mother's Day, you're just going to have one combined service. Hope to see the mothers here. We have some gifts, and we want to honor you. And uh, David and Carmen are, are on their way out. I'm sorry. Becky, I'm sorry. I, I got that wrong. Why don't you come forward? These guys are...
very special. They, they share half of their, their calendar with us here and, and half back in Oregon. And they're going to be leaving us this week. Amen? Yep. I thank God for your lives. Father, I, I bless Becky and David. Father, I thank you because you, you put them in, in this house. And, and you've, put, you've placed the word of God in them, mm -hmm. Father. And they're part of this, Father. So they will pray also for this, Lord. I pray that in the same manner that you brought them to us in good health and, and safety, that you would return them to their home, Father, in the same manner, Father. Hallelujah. I bless them. Give them hope. Give them health, Father, strength, Father, and your love and, and your spirit in them. In Jesus' name, we bless them. Amen. 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 All right? <laughs> God bless you, brother. All right. See you soon. Okay. Love you. All right. Love you. That's because you're... Name is David. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. God bless you. Amen.